I could get used to this. What? You found Flemeth's Grimoire? Ever since we discovered the condition of the Mage's Tower, I had wondered if it might be recoverable. But I had yet to speak of it to you. How fortunate that you found it on your own. You have my thanks. I will begin study of the tome immediately. I do not intend to squander this opportunity to learn more than Flemeth wished me to know. This should be... interesting. <laughs> Impressed. I not so I could get used to this, you know. Are you sure I can't interest you in this hat? A pair of earrings, perhaps? A cheese knife? I'm sure. What do you wish of me? What do you wish of me? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. I am here because Flemeth commanded me to aid you. Why? Do you wish me to leave? I can do so if you prefer. Then I assume... Yes. Yes. Yes.
My Valena returned. She told me of your daring rescue. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. We talked about your reward. So I hope this is enough. It's dwarven made and should serve you well. That's even kinder of you. You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Chances are we'll be heading to Denerim soon. And when we're there, I wonder if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Could we? I'd appreciate that. Her name is Goldana, and I think she remarried but still lives just outside the alienage. Mm hmm. I'm still... Something on your mind? Stop right there, outsider. The Dalish have camped in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere, and quickly. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? Seeing as you are obviously no simple trespasser, I will leave it to the Keeper to decide the importance of your business. In the camp, I suggest you keep your hands to yourself, and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. Hmm. I see we have guests. 
Who are these strangers, Mithra? I understand. But this one claims to have important business with our people. I see. Tell me, stranger. What business could you possibly have with us? We have our own issues we must deal with, as you can see. Answer my question first. If I agree with you, I will indulge your curiosity at length. You might have simply said so to begin with. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zaprian, the Keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? If you came to bring news of the Blight in the South, it is not needed. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest, but we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us, and though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that, that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. There is no guarantee that this will work, as I suspect, but it's the only hope we have left. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. I must return to caring for my people. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors, uh, like you, I mean, of your kind. Never. You're so much bigger than I... Oh, oh I, I didn't mean... Oh, dear. I, I should start over. I am Kamen, a hunter apprentice, though I wish I could become a real hunter. I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. I suppose... I suppose there's no harm in it. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. I am no child. If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. I don't think there's anything I can tell you. My clanmates in the camp would be better at that. As you say. Shall be done. And Eranetitian, stranger. I am Athras. 
I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. That is very generous of you. Most would assume we are unkind as a rule, and that is not the case, especially not to a Grey Warden. But we have lost much, and it is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. None of us are happy about this situation, and I least of all. But I shouldn't speak too much about this, especially with an outsider. I am sure you have little interest in my problems. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but perhaps you can help me. My wife Denyla and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denyla is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. If I could just know if Denyla is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. No. It would be very rude to accuse the Keeper of lying. If you were in the forest, perhaps you might come across her, alive or dead. And in return, I would be happy to gift you an amulet made by our craftsmen. It may fetch you some coin in the human lands. Since we seem to be heading into the forest anyhow, that does seem to be the right thing to do. You are most kind. Please. What are you doing? You've warped the wood completely. Did you leave it out in the rain? No, Master Ferrothorn. I, uh, I think I just used too much heat. You're not smelting ore like a Durganlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. My actions bring me sorrow, Master Ferrothorn. And so they should. Truly, the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? Gareth? Send a dwarf to make us pay for our attack. You speak to Swift Runner. I lead my cursed brothers and sisters. Tell them we will gladly watch them suffer the same curse we have suffered for too long. We will watch them pay. Was it not Safrian who sent you? He wishes only our destruction, never to talk. We have never met, he and I. He would not survive the experience, I swear it. You know nothing, do you? Nothing of us, and even less of those you serve. 
Run from the forest while you can. Run to the Dalish and tell them they are doomed. I do not wish to fight you either, but we cannot trust you. Come, brothers and sisters, let us retreat. I know if you promise 
to end my pain. Spirit, even what other woods coming to? Questions, questions, always questions. They say it was questions that made me mad. Will you do the same for you? Ask a question and you'll get a question, but give an answer and you'll receive the same. Oh, I do so love to trade. Ask you a question first. Would you know a question if it was asked? I don't know. Are you mocking me? But those are the rules. A question for a question, an answer for an answer. Were you not listening? Be careful, Grey Warden. This is no ordinary man. He is a mage. Driven mad, perhaps, but still powerful. No fair bringing mages to a guessing game. Will you play by the rules or not? I think it is your turn to ask, is it not? Too many spirits, that's the problem of this forest. And all the curses and the angry wolfmen who howl enough to drive you to madness. And you yell at them, but they run and hide deep within the center of the forest and the trees protect them. There's a way to fool the trees, of course. Trees are thick, wooden things, after all. Easily fooled, if you know how. Oh my, no, that's quite a question. I think that answer deserves something a little extra first, don't you? I stole something from an oak tree some time ago, and it won't stop pestering me for it back. Would you be so good as to turn it into firewood or something equally dead? Oh, just some large, talking, rhyming oak tree that's missing its acorn now? He's far off to the southwest, deep within the forest. Rather hard to miss. Just what I said. That's what I stole, after all. Weren't you listening? So the oak needs to be chopped down. I will indeed. After all, why not? It's up to you, however. Time to move on. May I? Now, what shall be the first? Oh, yes. What is your name? Aha. Uh -huh. So you claim. They sent you, didn't they? But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away, I dare you. 
Yes, I live here, and it's not as bad as you think. Where else to go, eh? They're out there and looking. They will take your secrets, oh yeah. But that's all I have to say about that. An answer for a mayor. Hmm. Where were you born? Hmm. So you say, fiendishly clever of you to maintain this facade for so long. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Ask away. Who am I? Why do you want to know? Did they send you? Did they tell you to ask? Oh, oh, oh. Did they tell you to pretend to be an innocent stranger with a head full of fluff and nothing? I'm trickier than I look. <laughs> I survive still, and the trees, they leave me be. <laughs> I've won. They will never find me. Then I would hide again. <laughs> but that's all I have to say about that. An answer for... Me. Let's see. Do you have a knowledge of the arcane ar... Oh, well, that's disappointing. But wait. But it is your turn to ask now. Ask. Uh, let's see. I'll trade you an acorn. A helmet I found. Or a book I finished reading years ago. Provided you have something interesting in return. Well, that's your business then, isn't it?